in our previous lecture, we learned to output variables and string concatenation. And I said string concatenation is a beautiful technique to format output string. Having said that, in C sharp, there is another way to output variables with formatted string. And that technique is called string interpolation. Using interpolation, you get the same result as concatenation. However, the interpolation is more convenient than the concatenation. In addition, if you use string interpolation, your code will become more readable. So let's see how do we create interpolated formatted strings. These were the statements we wrote in our previous lecture. They are still there so that we can have a comparison between interpolation and concatenation. So to create an interpolated formatted string in a console dot write line, we put something like So this line of code where the string literal starts with a dollar sign is actually a string interpolation. And the output of this right line and the first one is exactly the same. The syntax of interpolation is very simple. So a string interpolation begins with a dollar sign. And right after the dollar sign, you code your text as usual inside the double quotes. While creating interpolated string, you need to be careful about one thing. No wide space between the dollar sign and the opening quotation. If you put a wide space, the compiler will complain. To read variables or any other type that returns a value, we use curly braces. These curly braces are called interpolation expression. So we can simply put our variable inside the curly braces and it will be replaced by its value at the time of execution. Let me first run this application and I want you to read the output of the first and the last statement. And here you can see the first statement and the last statement, the output is exactly the same. Now you can compare both the statements. You will see string interpolation is more readable and convenient to code than the string concatenation. Let me give you another example to compare between interpolation and concatenation. Now you can see which one is better and more convenient to write. In concatenation, we are forced to put a space between the arguments, even here, 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 and a space here, and a wide space here. But in this case, you don't need to think about the wide spaces. Wider spaces you put uh, in the string uh, become the part of the output. And we run this application, you will see the output will be same. Check the last two lines, and you can see the same output. One uses concatenation and the other uses interpolation. In an interpolated string, you can also use escape sequences. Let me put a new line sequence here and one here. Now the output is distributed over three lines, line one, line two, and line three. Let's check it out. And here you see the output over three lines. So escape sequences work as usual. We have two different ways to format your output string, concatenation and interpolation. Which one to use, it's up to you. There is no significant performance issue either with the concatenation or the interpolation. However, interpolation is more readable than the concatenation. So that was all about string interpolation. I will see you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.